Hey guys, it's Craig at Area 419. I want to talk to you about our Zero dive rings. When we were testing the Zero, what we realized is not only were we testing the press, we were also testing dies, die rings, shell holders. There were a lot of things in the ecosystem that we found a lot of deficiencies in. So here we are, introducing products that we think fix some of those problems that are currently on the market. One of the things that we looked for here with the Zero die ring is we wanted more contact between the bottom of the die ring and the turret and we wanted more contact between the die ring and the die. So we extended both of those amounts. You get between two and two and a half times the amount of surface contact between the bottom of a 7 8 die ring and the top of a turret with our ring as you do with a typical lock ring that you'll find from any of your major manufacturers. You're also going to get about an extra thread of engagement between our die ring and the die compared to those, those others on the market. What that's going to give us is greater surface contact at the bottom of the ring, which is going to force a strong connection, a flat connection between the ring and the turret head, which is going to, with additional thread contact, help the, you know, the 60 degree threads on the die pull themselves straight into alignment and toward the center line of that die hole. All of the dies that we're using, the common dies on the market, are 5 8, or 7 8 14 class 2 thread. What that class two thread means, for those of you that don't know, is you have a greater deal of tolerance or a greater tolerance window between the outside diameter of your 7 8 threads and the inside diameter of your, of your female threads that match. With a class two 7 8 14 uh, 2A to 2B fit, which is what all of these are, you can have up to 30 thousandths of clearance between the major diameter of your male part or your die and the, and the diameter of the matching geometry in your female part. This can lead to, especially over the short amount of contact you have with the die ring, a lot of angular misalignment. So by adding surface area, we are reducing the opportunity for there to be that pitching. And we're also, a big surface area on the bottom is going to make sure that that die ring sits flat down against the turret. And it's gonna be one less thing that can possibly be cockeyed in a die head. One design difference you'll note uh, with, our die, with our die rings is there's no locking mechanism. We don't have a set screw. We didn't split it and make it clamp, and that was on purpose. What we found in testing were those types of locking mechanisms tend to lead to misalignment. They also force the alignment to be with whatever makes that die ring tight on your die. We don't want that. We want alignment to be between the press and the ring and the die and everything to naturally try to make itself square up with your 60 degree thread pitch, your big flat surfaces, and the torque that helps pull everything apart when you tighten the ring. So these are non-locking die rings. They're perfect for a zero. For somebody using a single stage, they might be a little more work because they're not gonna stay in exactly the same spot. But the other thing that we found out is that a lot of your locking die rings don't actually stay in the same spot anyway, especially when you're threading them in and out of a press. These are available in stainless steel as individuals and nitride as either individuals or multi-packs. We've got four die ring multi-packs that can be had as either all seven eighths, all inch and a quarter, or a hybrid, which is two of each, or you can get a nine die multi-pack of seven eighths, all in black nitride. All of our multi-packs, the, the four ring sets and the nine ring set come with, uh, come with a wrench. This is the same wrench actually that's used for the rear of the Maverick, and it allows you to tighten and loosen the dies from the inside and not compete with die rings or lock rings that are all around the turret. This is another gripe that we had and we'll talk about that in our, in our video on setting up dies. And again, if you want to see these in action, I'm going to have a video where I set up a die. You'll be able to find it in the description below. Um, so yeah, these are our lock rings. They're $25 individually. The multi-packs of four are all, uh, they're all 100 and they come with a free wrench and the nine pack of seven eighths is 200 comes with that wrench as well so links to them be down below along with the video of die setup uh, if you got any more questions let us know drop them in the comments until next time thanks for stopping by